The past decade in glass and glazing brought us increased energy efficiency and larger glass sizes. But what about the next 10 years? I'm Jordan Scott, assistant editor of U.S. Glass Magazine, and this month we are bringing you one expert's thoughts on those future technologies and trends. Rick Hamlin, Permis de Lisa North America General Manager of Interiors, expects that as codes and architects push the performance of glass to its limits, we'll see increased adoption of design more commonly used in Europe. The, the thermal, the environmental conditions uh, are certainly the, probably some of the biggest changes what, the, what we're asking the walls to do. Uh, glass is getting not only thicker, but at, uh, larger, larger sizes, and we're asking more of it than we used to do, uh, used to do in the past. Uh, and then the, the introduction of more double screen cavity wall designs that we're starting to see a little bit more float over from the European uh, designs, we're seeing some of that. And we're also beginning to see, uh, you know, the fits and, fits and starts with solar, with the uh, uh, photovoltaic panels. We see it, and then we don't see it, we see it, and we don't see it. We see that starting to come back and, and try to be implemented. So those are the things that we uh, continue to evolve in, in the industry, but it's really the sizes are just getting so big. As the environmental conditions and the desire to continue to use glass, a transparent uh, uh, product on a building, the cavity wall designs, the uh, double skins, are going to have to become more prevalent because that helps you get to the energy models that people want to have and still have a glass building uh, with the airspace and the circulation, and those are engineered spaces many times. So it's, uh, uh, I see that as, as long as the environmental conditions continue to improve or the requirements continue to improve, uh, that's going to have to be more and more of a consideration. Advanced glass technology for excellent energy performance already exists. However, cost is often an obstacle to specification. Hamlin explains how architects can approach that discussion. The challenge is the cost. Uh, the, the cost and the, the, uh, the how it pays off for itself over time uh, how the, what, what type of building it is from an owner's standpoint. Is he, is he building it to sell? Is he building it to, to rent? Is he building it to keep? Those things all have a big impact on how much they want to put into the initial cost of the building. And that's probably the single biggest impact is what the payoff is and how it, how it affects his uh, model. Building Information Modeling, or BIM, and other design software allow architects to design increasingly complex buildings. That's another trend you can expect to grow in the upcoming years. The other thing is with the advent of computerization, the ge geometric shapes uh, uh, take on a, a complexity that we hadn't seen at this level in the past. You'd see it now and again, you'd see some complex buildings, but we see it on almost every, especially the high rises, almost every job. If you want to see more insights and expectations for the next decade, check out the February issue of U.S. Glass Magazine on usglassmag.com. The article, 2020 Vision, features an in-depth look at what's coming in the contract glazing industry, as well as more expert predictions about everything from codes to wellness and beyond. And join us in March as we bring you video coverage from the BEC conference in Nashville. I'm Jordan Scott. Thank you for watching.